Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of DM TV. This is uh, Faces of DM episode again, a series exploring the people making up our movement, where we discuss their inspirational stories and why and how they took the step from citizen to activism and to politics. And here tonight, I'm with Demos Joachim. I hope I said that well. Uh, welcome, Demos. Thank you very much for the invitation. So yes, my name is uh, Demos Joachim. I'm from the coordination in Cyprus of DM25. Welcome again, Demos. We are going to speak about the DM organization in a country from scratch. You know, how, what are the first steps? How, you know, can you get involved as you did from the example of the nice island of Cyprus where I haven't been yet, but I hope I will travel uh, one day, hopefully, and we can actually meet each other in person. Um, and so through Dima's story, we're going to explore this a little bit, how also you out there can maybe, you know, <laughs> start, orga start organizing for DM25 in your country. But first of all, Demos, maybe you can tell us a little bit about you. Where are you exactly on Cyprus um, and what's your background? I came from uh, Cyprus, particularly from Limassol. Limassol is the second biggest city in Cyprus. Uh, my profession is uh, acoustic consultant. And my one of my main uh, hobbies is politics. And that's why DM. Nice. Uh, and can you tell us a little bit um, why did you choose DM? How did you, you know, get to know about DM and how, when did you become a member? I learned about DM since its birth uh, due to the fact that I followed and supported uh, Yanis Varoufakis and his uh, disobedient fellowship after Greek Spring and historical win of uh, no in referendum of 2015 in Greece. Um, however, I more actively follow it after the creation of Mera 25 in Greece. Um, I decided to become a member of DM 25 when I decided to basically abandon the personal political action and join a collective political action, which apparently is the most effective and leftist, let's say, way to politicize and benefit the people. Following its political, uh, politically radical shift, DM covers uh, almost totally my political view and belief. And so almost a year ago, I joined this uh, brilliant movement and I feel I gain comrades from Cyprus and all over the Europe. Uh, lastly, I'm really glad and excited that I found I found a political house uh, to politically express me after a few years of looking for. Great. Uh, thanks. Um, and thanks for the for the kind words also for the for the movement. Um, maybe before we get, go into your activity in Cyprus, can you tell us a little bit about the political situation on Cyprus? Because I think, unfortunately, you know, you're a smaller nation in, in Europe and maybe not all the people out there are aware uh, of what's going on. The political situation now in Cyprus is that we have a lack of a, a pure leftist party. We have uh, many right-wing parties. We have a social democratic party, let's say. There is a Green Party, but a pure uh, leftist uh, uh, political uh, movement or party does not exist now in Cyprus. That's why I think we believe as coordination in Cyprus that we can cover this gap and express the people, the many, basically. How did you start the activity for DiEM25 in Cyprus? What was kind of the first step 
um, that you did after getting involved and trying to build up something uh, on, on, on the national level? The beginning of the recent intensive activity uh, for DNG in Cyprus uh, was basically electronically through our members area forum uh, where I, I decided to post and ask if there is any active groups or active members here in our island. Um, then I got a response. One comrade from uh, Mera, Greece, living in Cyprus, and uh, and a DM comrade were responded. Um, we arranged a physical meeting. And so our recent local story began. Thanks. Um, I hope everyone could understand everything because your connection was um, uh, not ideal for the first uh, part of your question. But I think I can summarize by, you know, you got in touch with other people, um, just reached out. I think in DM we have this um, members area that all, if you are there also joining, then um, you become a member, you, you have the possibility to reach out to other members, to meet them and then to start something start on a small level by a few people and then uh, make things grow uh, and also Dimas mentioned Mera 25 which is our political parties which are, is already quite established in Greece so this of course helps a little bit uh, for people on Cyprus to also know about DM25 and Mera 25. What was good about this experience or how did you how did you experience the process of getting in touch with people and starting to do some small actions i can see that it's a beautiful political experience um, based on three facts the third fact is that uh, it's a try from the beginning growing from bottom from grassroots and getting greater and greater um, second fact we can that uh, we democratically propose and decide for everything as a movement, as a European movement. And third one uh, that we struggle through this movement together with other European comrades. Uh, at the same time, in different countries. Uh, but towards the same political targets uh, according to our common ideology. Especially here in Cyprus, as you said, with our uh, Greek Mera 25 companions, where our collaboration and struggle are common. I can say are almost, it's almost one. And actually, this is the DM spirit acting from different countries towards the same scope, towards the same uh, political actions. Yes, I got, I got nothing to add to that. <laughs> what, um, what have been our, uh, uh, ours and your, especially your um, major achievements so far? What did you do in terms of actions? Um, what did you organize so far on Cyprus? First of all, I think that our biggest achievement is the existence of DM25 voice in Cyprus. More radically, uh, during the last uh, five months of our existence as a, as a collectivity, uh, summarizing, uh, we can say uh, organizing our two outdoor demonstrations with comrades of Mera, Greece. Uh, one was for the public health system, and the other uh, it was against the war in Ukraine. Moreover, taking part in other outdoor demonstrations for an, an environmental protected area in Cyprus, for Julian Assange, uh, for freedoms during pandemic, uh, again, a fascistic attack in a leftist event here in Limassol, 
against uh, quarries and others. Uh, moreover, other achievements, we think our social media accounts have been set up and keep updated. Articles have been published uh, for different local political issues. And finally, I can see meetings with progressive persons and other collectivities in order to you know, communicate and grow our movement or our collaborations with other uh, familiar uh, movements, progressive and leftist movements. Great. Uh, and I think this is absolutely the kind of groundwork that one needs to lay to, you know, then make the next steps. So, so well done. Um, and how is your structure? Do you um, re regularly meet in person, more in Zoom? Um, how does it work? How do you prepare your actions and your activities? Basically, during the first months of our existence, winter or early spring times, we were meeting electronically via Zoom in a regular base, uh, let's say every three weeks, uh, where are we discussing the political issues and organizing our political actions and positions. And last two months, uh, we have started to meet physically. Last week, for example, we conducted a meeting in Nicosia and we are planning during the next month to meet up in other cities as well. Zoom meetings have the advantage of space that we can easier meet up from different cities because, okay, Cyprus is a small island, but the distance between two cities is about an hour duration. But physical meetings, uh, of course, are better for us as comrades uh, due to the fact that uh, we are social beings and uh, I think natural interaction and body language, uh, facial expressions, human response, uh, much better to our ideology and political approach as progressives, especially when we are meeting in the roads of struggles. Yes, I, I agree. And I think it's something that we all missed greatly during the pandemic. If you're in uh, Cyprus or any other country, reach out to us so we can organize a meeting with local DMers. The address where you can always reach um, us is volunteer at dm25.org and we can connect you to the right people. Mm -hmm. To conclude this, a nice short overview of um, how to start a DM organization uh, in a country with the example of Cyprus. Let's look into the future. What keeps you together and what are your plans? What are the next steps that you're looking forward to take uh, on Cyprus? In our opinion, uh, the ideology and the political direction. So uh, I think our common vision uh, in real democracy, in international soli solidarity, in social and climate justice, and interest for the many, not the few, and against the oligarchy. I think those values those uh, political and social values uh, and targets keep us together. We are planning um, a green event regarding an environment uh, with, many with a main speaker and an MP from Mera 25 Greece. Second, uh, we are planning a campaign for the right to housing and against uh, high costing and thirdly um, to spread the movement of DM into the Turkish, Turkish Cypriot side of the island. Our plans are to grow our collectivity of DM in Cyprus, increase our impact in the political status in Cyprus by establishing us 
uh, as the real progressive and leftist party in Cyprus in order to support the society, in order to support the many, in order to support the environment locally and European-wise. Thanks. I think this uh, sounds great. Uh, I think everyone wishes you all the best of luck for, for achieving uh, what you're planning and what you're setting out to do. I hope we will be in constant touch and you know work together on our, on our common dream. Thank you for, for joining and giving us these insights, Dimas. Thank you very much for the invitation. Thank you for the, for the concentration and uh, carpe diem. <laughs> exactly. And you are there if you want to join and also start DiEM25 from scratch in your country, like Dimas is doing or has been doing in Cyprus, you can go on dm25.org slash join, join us. Contact us under uh, the address of volunteer dm25.org if you have any questions. And yeah, as Dimo said, uh, carry the DM and let's let's go.